The markets are nervous, but do you think they're they're not nervous enough? Because actually, we seem to be in a crossroad. We don't exactly know what comes up next. And if you look at volatility, it's there in part, but not as much as it would have been five years ago. Yeah, there's st uh, still far too much complacency in my view. Um, I think that Trump is almost certain to use missiles in, in Syria, uh, and he has good reason to do so. Um, what the outcome of that I is, I don't know. Uh, you've got all this other tumult, including uh, you know, the Facebook issue and so forth. And uh, yet markets remain rather complacent. Well, I, I think it's a slow-moving train wreck, and we're going to see some very serious downside to, to particularly the U.S. market in the relatively near future. And indications such as the price of oil rising to right. recent highs, uh, representing a real toll on GDP, basically, potential toll on GDP, are just not factored in yet. Plus the fact you've got the Fed tightening uh, in, a, in a fairly aggressive way, and you've got the U.S. budget deficit about to balloon out to 5% of GDP, which most people are not really talking yeah. about. All those factors make me very worried about the U.S. market, which has potentially 20 or 25% downside from here. So, Jim, what does that mean? 20 to 25 in what time frame? Well, who knows, but I would say over the next year it's entirely possible. Uh, okay, I mean, so it's had a very big rise over the last eight years. Why couldn't it have a 25% correction? I think it's, you know, very feasible. I mean, that, that would be uh, an extremely violent in a short space of time correction. Does it mean that you're going after havens at the moment to kind of hedge? Yeah, I think that uh, if you do believe like I do, and the last time you kindly had me on, I was saying that in inflation is insidious and it's yeah. coming back in a big way, then I think gold is your number one uh, haven. In terms of currencies, I don't have any particularly strong strategy there at the moment. Um, the yen was undervalued. It's probably fairly valued at the moment. Um, but, you know, you have to... You know, you've also got the Russian issue. I mean, that's fairly serious. And the Russian market is down a bit, but it could go down a lot further. Um, so all these uh, potential points of political conflict, plus uh, an overvalued U.S. stock market, plus sanctions being imposed everywhere on Facebook, on, uh, on Russians, on Iranians and so forth. All that leads me to be super bearish at the moment.